what's up guys and welcome back to overkill gaming your home for high-end gaming whether it's pc ps5 or handheld we got you covered now if you've been following the channel then you notice that a lot of the content that we've been posting lately is centered around how to get around some of the limitations of steam os in terms of the games that it can play most notably online multiplayer games that have anti-cheats We've shown you multiple ways to dual boot your Steam Deck with Windows 10. We've shown you various workarounds to get certain games to work on Steam OS. And today we are back with another Steam Deck tip. And I think that this is a really, really good one here. As you can see, we are playing Overwatch 2 on the Steam Deck in Steam OS, 60 FPS, no frame drop, no stutter. And here's what else I want you to look at. Look at the battery life. Five hours of battery life remaining. Actually, almost six hours of battery life remaining. And you notice my Steam Deck is not plugged in. And one more thing. We're playing this game on high settings. That's right. High settings, 60 FPS, five hours plus battery life. And we're going to show you how to do this today. Now, before we dive in, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to leave a like on the video and also consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of our future content. Lots of great content on this channel for the Steam Deck. We also cover PC and PS5 as well. You definitely don't want to miss out on any of it. So ever since I saw the Nintendo Switch, I've been interested in the idea of being able to game on the go. However, me being someone who mostly plays on PC, I needed a way to be able to play the games that I normally like to play and long before the Steam Deck arrived, I had found a way and that way was Moonlight. Before the Steam Deck came along, I used Moonlight to turn my cell phone into a gaming device. I was able to play all my favorite games on the go and all I needed was my phone and a controller. The only real issue I had though was that the screen was just too small. Then the Steam Deck came along with the perfect size screen and a built-in controller, I was good to go. And the only real drawbacks I've found so far to the Steam Deck are its battery life and SteamOS's incompatibility with the vast majority of online multiplayer games that have anti-cheat. But now with Moonlight, we can show you how to address both of those issues. So here's how it all works. Moonlight basically converts your gaming PC into a game streaming server. This allows you to connect with your portable gaming device to your gaming PC and stream the game across a Wi-Fi connection or across the internet. And this solution makes perfect sense for online multiplayer games that require you to have an internet connection anyway. Now, obviously for this to work, you do have to have a gaming PC, most notably a gaming PC that has an Nvidia graphics card and you have to have a decent internet connection. So if you're someone like me who uses the Steam Deck as kind of a companion to your gaming rig, then this solution will work perfectly for you. And you won't need a super powerful graphics card like this 3090 here because the gaming PC will stream the game to your Steam Deck in 720 or 800p, which means that you can crank up the graphics and it won't really take a heavy toll on your graphics card and it won't take any toll on your GPU, on your Steam Deck, which means that your battery life will be around six hours on a fully charged battery. Not only that, but you'll now be able to save the storage on your Steam Deck for games that you can play offline, such as single player games, and let your gaming PC take care of the online multiplayer games, which will be streamed from your gaming PC. And best of all, it's 100% free. All right, so without further ado, let's go over how to set this up. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is head on over to GitHub, download Moonlight and install it on the gaming PC. We'll have a link down in the description so you don't have to search around for it. All right, once it has been installed, we can go ahead and restart the computer and then we'll finish the rest of the setup. All right, so once we have restarted, we're going to come into NVIDIA GeForce Experience 
and we're going to enable game streaming all right after that we'll go ahead and add the overwatch launcher and we'll just search for the overwatch launcher in our file system and add it next we'll head into steam os and go into desktop mode and once we're in desktop mode we're going to go into discover apps and we're going to download moonlight All right, once it's been downloaded, now we can go to Steam and add it as a non-Steam game. And there it is. So we'll go ahead and add selected programs. And then from here, we'll just to make, we'll just check to make sure it's in our list. And it is, so now we can return to gaming mode. All right, we're back in gaming mode. So now we're just gonna take a look at our library and we should see Moonlight in our non-Steam games. We can go ahead and click on it, click on play. All right, so the first thing it's gonna do is it's gonna search for PCs on your local network. So it's important that you're on the same Wi-Fi network as the gaming PC. And then it's going to give you a code to enter on the PC side. So you're going to see a little box pop up on the PC and it's going to ask you to put in the code and then that way they'll be linked to each other. All right, last but not least, we'll go over the settings. Here are the current settings that I'm using. I have it set to 1200 by 800 resolution with 60 FPS. Now the bit rate, I, I kind of like to set the bit rate up to close to around 40. Uh, V-Sync is checked. Frame pacing is checked. So if you want to copy my settings, you can. I also have enable mouse control game pads by holding start button. I also have checked use touchscreen as a virtual trackpad and optimize mouse for remote desktop instead of game. And that's pretty much it. Feel free to play around with the settings, see what works best for you. We're going to go ahead and launch into the overwatch launcher now, and it's going to bring up our desktop. And for me, I just like to use the touch screen to launch the game. As you can see, the controls work perfectly fine. No stutter, no lag. Solid 60 FPS on the Steam Deck. Obviously the gaming PC is probably running at a much higher frame rate, but we are able to experience a solid 60 on the Steam Deck. And this same 
for this same method should work with pretty much any battle net game um any launcher really as long as you can add the launcher or the game to nvidia geforce experience it should work for you and we also have a almost fully charged battery we're at 99 percent and you can see that the remaining time that we have on our battery right now is showing six hours and 34 minutes probably going to end up being around six hours or you know somewhere between five and six hours but yeah it's definitely a lot more than what you would have if you're playing the game natively so I think this is a really good solution for these types of games, these online multiplayer games, because you're going to need an internet connection anyway to play these games, as opposed to like a single player game where you don't really need an internet connect, a strong internet connection or anything like that to play the game. So why not just stream the game from your PC? if you have a gaming PC and then you can play with a pretty much locked 60 FPS, high settings, ultra settings. And then you can save your storage on your steam deck for single player games where you don't really need the internet connection. To me, it just works out really, really well if you have a NVIDIA based gaming PC. So I'm going to show you how to exit out and end a session before we end the video. All right. So when you're ready to end the game session, all you got to do is just quit the game like you normally would. And then you're going to want to press all four of these buttons here at the same time. And that's how you get out of it. And then you just click on the X and that's how you quit out of the launcher. And that's it guys. That's how you do it. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please be sure to leave a like, consider subscribing. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.